Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Boosted Motorsports. In today's video, we are not gonna be dealing with the Hellcat stuff. I have another video coming for you guys as well on that. Lots still to do on that, but today we're gonna to be dealing with the Dodge Viper GTS supercharged that we have here. So if you guys remember, we supercharged the Dodge Viper not too long ago. We've been dialing in the tune and whatnot with it riding 91 and methanol. And we just got another revision for this from Flying Ryan Performance that we're gonna load up with the HP tuners. Let's pop the hood in case you guys are new to the channel. I'll show you guys the supercharger setup. And I also think we have to double check our methanol tank level as well. So here is the supercharger setup, you guys. It is a row supercharger setup, so you guys can see it here. There's a belt wrapped around there, and then we've converted the washer fluid tank to a methanol tank. At some point, I'm gonna have to probably make up something a bigger capacity because this thing, I thought it would be larger, but it drinks this, I think it's only half a gallon, and it drinks this in a few pulls, so. Um, I'm gonna have to revise the setup, put a bigger reservoir on there, but no big deal. So this is what we got. So let's go ahead, grab the laptop, and we'll load up the tune. So here we go, guys. We've got the HP tuners set up on the laptop, so we'll go ahead and load that file. Okay, so it's done writing, so we'll go ahead, throw the laptop in the passenger seat so we can do some data logging, we'll go see how she works. guys I have to laugh because I did my best to try to record that for you guys and I had more footage honestly but I didn't know that the camera decided to go to the moon and even once I fixed it I didn't realize that the microphone had popped out so uh, yeah that's about as much footage as I got for you guys but that's kind of the process we're gonna take that data logging with the HP tuners, we send it back to Ryan. And honestly, it's it's pretty dang close. If you guys can see the uh, wideband O2 sensor, uh, that gauge that's in between the, like in the middle of the steering wheel, uh, it's pretty good. It dipped into the 10, so it, uh, I think it was like 10.98 or 10.9, or I think I might have even seen 10.89. So it's, uh, it's rich, which is safe, but we could probably bring it up into the 11s a little bit just to you know make a little bit more power. It, um, it carries through, doesn't make any you know, strange noises, but when it gets a little bit fat, and that's kind of, I guess, tuning terminology, when it, when it gets a little bit rich or fat, it, uh, it does seem to not pull as hard through those sections where I'm noticing that it's going really rich. So if we dial it back a little bit, probably make a tiny bit more power. And then there was a couple little spots where if I got on it lightly, kind of like, since we've been doing all like, uh, you know, full throttle pulls and stuff like that. Uh, we haven't done too much in the partial throttle. So there's a couple sections where um, it looked like it needed maybe a bit more fuel going, uh, you know, just cruising around or type thing. So that's gonna be it guys. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share the videos where you think other people would be interested in them. We've got a lot on the way. We, this guy's, if you guys haven't seen this build, this is an incredible build that we did on the Viper. So I know this one didn't take as long as some of the other projects, but um, this one is one that I really like. It was a smooth install, went really well. And then as you guys know, this is going in there very soon and we got all sorts of projects. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new and we'll see you guys on the next video.